All right, what is going on, Dark and Darker Dungeon Delvers? This is a hardcore permadeath speedrun, level 1 to 20. We're going to be blocking the map and diving right in. I think at the beginning of the speedrun, you want to go for risky plays. Either do high roller or drop into Inferno in order to gear up. And then once you start getting closer to endgame, right, I'm talking level 10, 15, you probably want to go to the Goblin Mines and solo. That way you don't have that chance to run into the three-man. But at the start, it's beautiful to take chances and to take some risks. But without a doubt, the Goblin Caves is going to be the easiest place to get to level 20 without dying. And when I say easy, I mean it's practically impossible. This is my eighth try. Here we go. Deaded. Absolutely deaded right now in <laughs> chat. Deaded, dying. We got to get past one or two runs. Run it back, baby. Nothing can stop us. Because when it happens, it's going to happen. Yeah, I think we start on the trio's map still. I do think that that is the play for us. That was pretty good, 13 seconds. Speedrunning to 20, Deuce, what's going on? Personal best right now um, is not existed. It doesn't exist. I made it to 18 and I died to a rogue and I made it to 15 and uh, I got real cocky and real stupid because I was an epics, so I tried to fight the troll. I studied the VODs and I learned how to fight the troll solo. And then what, I, what had happened was um, he one shot me. So however much studying I did, it wasn't enough. Scaly, what's going on, you guys? Yes, exclamation mark tournament. It's going down this weekend, guys. We're hosting a $300 tournament with Sunday. We've got esports casters and some of the biggest in the dark and darker industry coming out. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait. You know what? Honestly, mummies drop a lot of good equipment. For us, right? Mummies drop a lot of valuables. We need that gold in those bands. Okay, there's candy. So I would almost say right away that starting the three-man dungeon is probably a good a good thing to do. The issue is if you have an aggressive three-man, there's, really, there's no way to escape unless you're a wizard. for PvP guys. We should be able to dance past all monsters now. Basically want to be taking no hits from any monster if you can help it. Skelly says he's a 3D artist. Would we be interested in an intro or an outro? Of course I would, but if you're trying to sell me something, man, I gotta tell you I'm poor and I don't make money from anything. So, it's probably not gonna happen. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, no, no, I, mo I moved too quick. Yes. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Those those players did not have their sound on. I'm not I'm not sure how when I, I smashed the stone tomb with my axe that, that they weren't alerted. But those guys were nose deep in some loot. Oh my god, a blue. A blue with fizzy. What a good start for us, chat. Okay, we're on the way up. We already have a green Gurjamunjabu. And some blue light footers. This is going places. Seven dead as well. Over half the lobby has been annihilated. We're probably going to go Inferno here as well and play risky. High risk, high reward. We need that XP. So I would I would definitely appreciate that Skelly, but yeah, we, we don't make any actual money, man. I'd probably put, I don't know, a thousand hours into YouTube. I got a really cool video coming out, by the way, guys. We're working with another content creator that's a voice actor, and we got some really, really cool content coming out soon. Oh, I walked into that one. But anyway, we, we spent like a thousand hours in all last year doing the YouTubes. Okay. Okay. We're in trouble. And I'm pretty sure I, I spent more money on software and random subscriptions to things like Shutterstock and Dropbox and like an, like an image enhancer. Like, you know how it goes, man. When you're trying to learn something new, you really gotta do it. You gotta go to school. And so we've been studying at the University of Dark and Darker lately, and we've got a Doctor of Divinity in it. And we paid an editor to teach us for like 25 hours how to edit videos. I sat at the feet of masters worldwide. And I'm hoping it'll pay off eventually. But I am the Mr. Beast of Dark and Darker. And I promise that we're gonna make better and better content. <coughs> we're just taking every single thing to the head here. got $150 in bounties out and a $300 tournament on the way. This is what we can do with one week of playtest, guys. Imagine. Imagine, Chad, what we can do when the game launches in April. Imagine. When season one is three months long and we've already perfected level 120 speedrun permada. We're doing all the things all the time it's madness and stupidity thank you all for the support the likes and the love okay we're one shot as usual on our first run okay. that is not what we wanted to see inside there all right we're we're a one -y. we are one -y shot we got to get out of here we need a blue portal asap Okay, he's got hops. The spiders are relentless. Okay, big pickup though. Actually, huge pickup. That's gonna save us 25 gold or so from the weaponsmith. Watch us, watch us get axed a question right here. Watch us die to an axe trap. Ah. Oh god. Oh god, I'm one shot. I'm one shot and I've got a dream. There's no way we don't run into players. Oh. Oh! Oh! I 
I see a potion in the deep crevasses. Oh no. Oh no! Circles. Circles, chat. Four square. Four square means a healing shrine. They just took it. No. Oh my god. Look at him hunting, hunting rats. All right, their fighter just got a kill on somebody. Got a kill with the falchion. I love the right click, guys. Uh, I really do. It's the, the right click on this is phenomenal. But we gotta be careful when we use it. It's no longer safe for us to go red portal. We have zero healing. But you know what we have to do, chat? We have to open one in case there's nothing left or we have to retreat. This is a pretty profitable run if we can get out alive. Okay, guys. All right. I think we hit level two there. I feel like we did enough. A bit of PvP. There it is. Stepping up to level two. Feeling good. Hopefully we made enough money to actually get some healing items and start us off right. I kind of want to stay in the three-person dungeon for now. Ninety-four gold and some candy is gonna be enough to get us where we want to go Green felling axe would be an immense amount of damage. It's gonna cost us half Of our monies, but the felling axe definitely devastates Let's See what else we can do here probably gonna have to go for some cheaper items at the moment 18 here or we already have six Franciscis, so we're looking good on that end Go with that, and then we grab a little stack of bandies. Little two stack. There we go, level two. And a much, much better position to pressure onward. Um, just bring the candy with, no, we wanna save slots, so we'll uh, I think we drop three men again. 
I think we do one more run into the Forgotten Castle. Oops, actually started the timer. Sell the heart candy. We we cannot sell the heart candy. We need it. It's it's probably one of the only ways we're going to be able to get an epic weapon during the permadeath. What an absolute monster of the dungeon attempting what they said was impossible. All the things, all the time. We can't say it enough. Fantastic starting room. Also the felling axe. Look how fast it is. It's a loot magnet. It's a claw machine on a stick. All right, we have enough loot, let's leave. Okay, <laughs> 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 I got too soon and we took that to the head. Here we are, and here we go. I think we, I don't know guys, when do we think we should swap to the solo dungeon? I really would like to go Inferno and try to get some blues. Cause the Inferno monsters are terrible, right? They're trash. The Inferno monsters are easier than the goblins. Mikhail, what's going on baby? This play test is taking a toll on your face. I think I'm a beautiful goblin. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we've got at least a barb nearby. Sounds like two. Sounds like two, chat. We might have a battle. Okay. Good start for us. Oh man, we almost one shot him. We almost killed him right there. It's a two man, and it's something that we can take, right? Okay, good throw. Okay, another good throw. Two in a row. Madness. Beautiful. Madness and stupidity. Okay, good good job jumping away as well. We're one -y. It's his barbarian buddy there. That's what we would have needed. Pretty sure he's one shot here. Okay, they're rethinking the fight, but so am I. I don't know what this is, but it looks like somewhere I <laughs> want to go. The pile of bones is slowly shifting with us. Okay, we're in a spot with a lot of traps. This is bad. It's all bad. We have a chance to win that at 100%, guys. They're back, and I'm dead from this fireball. Get off me. It's gonna take more than that. You get cocky, you get deaded, baby. Somebody clip it. That's a good one. That was a good one. Let's go. Let's go. I think we could get that barb too since we got the blue pot. But we don't know what level he is. Right? It's going to get risky fighting that barbarian. 
because if he's got the abilities that we like and love, if he's got Berserker, he could probably kill us easily. He's already missing a lot of health. Imagine if we did all that. We died to a skeleton. A normal skeleton. Loaded on the Lutzers. Where are all my Franciscis? I'm pretty sure I threw one in here as well. There, there it is. Um, probably another one. There's one in the wall. Re-upping on our Franciscers. We gotta get better at throwing if we want to win these 1v2s and 3s. If I hit those Franciscis, I think we, we win that fight easy. He was probably 1e when he ran into that room. Bats and the spikes here. I need to pull just maybe one or two of these at a time. Okay, I got all three. Nice. No, oh, no. Risking it for the biscuit, baby. And you love when you throw one or two Franciscis and you get six back. What a gamble. And an oil lantern for the three-man devastation. This is going all the way. God, this is a good start. How many is left, guys? One more? I think we just leave chat. There is a corpse down there to the left, but we're so one shot, I'm, I'm absolutely fearful of the smallest arrow entering our earlobe. That is level three. We are doing big things right now. Still no play on Inferno. We haven't had the right setup, but now we've got the gold and the weapon and the Franciscis, and it's only going to get easier. Unfortunately, they didn't restock my red potions. Uh, excuse me, they didn't restock my blue potions. And now the red potions are gone. So we, we are in trouble, but that's all right. We're going to continue. Inside the Forgotten Castle. I'm enjoying it. It's quite the spot. We didn't quite, uh, we didn't beat our best time there. Because in the, uh, in the solo dungeon, I picked up like six kills one of my runs, and I got a lot of XP on that one. We was hunting some players down. Forgot to stash the gold? Guys, we delete when we die. This is permadeath. We don't stash anything. And soon we'll have a couple of pouches, right? We'll have four or five pouches. The player that kills us when we're in permadeath gets it all. They get all the loot. Yesterday we died with like, uh, on our level 18, we had some seriously good stuff. Plus we had like 190 gold on us. We're sharing the wealth.
Thank you for that description as well. I missed it on the Amazon Prime, no less. Much obliged and appreciated and welcome. Nice lockpick. All right, we're definitely gonna go in this room next to us. We're gonna hope that there's a, um, we're gonna hope there's a lion's head chest in here that's locked. But mostly we want these skull bats, right? These are all attempts at, at healing items and Franciscers. So we're gonna pull a couple of these little bastards. And by a couple, I mean the entire room. Join me, brethren, in this doorway where I may slay you on a cleave. Nice. Um, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think we might have to stay in the three-man. The candy is immense. The candy and the loot is just so, so much better. I mean, we talked about it earlier. I, I think you make risky, weird plays until level five or maybe six or seven, and then you go solo. And, of course, solo, it's not like it's easy, but it's definitely lower risk, in my opinion. Very nice, guys. This could be our epic. There it is. There it is. And a green. Plus two Agi. Physical damage reduction. Nice rugged boots. God, what a start. Chad, I think you're going to be here to witness it. This might be the one.
Another team. Here comes the third party. This is why this dungeon is so dangerous. Oh my god, there's like six of them out there. Woof! We gotta go clean that up, guys. Let's wait and see. We gotta hope a lot of them kill each other here. They might be in VoIP talking as well, we just don't know. <laughs> got the Brogas buffed. Poison on. Oh my god, it's, a, it's just an absolute ton of players. Woof! I'm glad we didn't win that fight, guys. I would have been face down in the loot, very, very, very lit. And the archer would have been 100% with that other team coming in, having one or two rangers, we would have died there. I have no doubt about it. Five weapon damage. What? <clears throat> no way. <laughs> good, good shot. Wow. Wow, plus two true fizzy. Dang, do we need a dual wield build? I think we might. Wow, that's really good. Jeez, if we got a horseman axe with a bunch of true fizzy as well or something, that would be devastating if we got close to somebody. This is a really, really good run for us.
Okay. Okay, I'm a, I'm a master of hiding. Didn't even have time to loot the rogue. The headshot on the Aaron of the Jaeger. Oh my god, we skipped all the way up, baby. Straight to level 5, new record. How much did we make, though, chat? How much did we make? I probably should have grabbed some of those epics, but I knew they weren't for my class. So I, I got a little scared and just had to make plays. What do we have here? Plus two true fizzy. A fizzy would be really good for us, but um, it's not worth the swap. Two physical power on those as well. I think two agi is the play here on our boots. Uh, picking up quite a bit of candy. We're up to 16. That's nearly our epic. No re okay, we got to restock on the potions finally. We have quite a bit of money as well. 54 here. Um, let's see. I think we go for um, a little bit of armor as well. Let's see. Probably leather, I would think. What do we have? Gloves didn't really roll that well. He doesn't really have any gloves. Check Taylor. Boots kind of misses all the way across the board there. Armor, nothing for us. Weaponsmith, no blues. There was a quarter staff, not a blue either. Um, I guess that's really all we can do for now. Now we gotta start buying those baggies, right? So we can pick up other players' loose gold. So we probably need three baggies. And we're level 5, which means we get our next perk, which is huge. Now, we pretty much have to go Iron Will. The, the mage is going to be an upsetting factor for us. The wizards are going to be putting in work, as we saw earlier. We got pretty lucky we survived that first wizard with their machine gun World War II style bunker busting arcane missiles. Plus the zaps, the lightning strikes. And chain lightning for the good wizards, right? If you're a high skill wizard, you use a lot of insane abilities. How does the goblin merchant work? I spend 75 gold and I got a gray. It's a gamble, baby. It's a gamble. That was crispy. Like to see you play with Soda Poppin or Carrie Asman. Let him know, Deadstroke. Let him know. I'm available. I'll get in their pocket like a mouse in winter. Just give me a little bit of loot, you know. Give me a little cookie and some milk. Uh, wasting a little bit of time here, but that's all right.
go! Oh my god. Oh, it's three rogues! We're dead, chat. Oh my god, I swung! Thank god I swung. Holy shit! We would have been absolutely murdered! Okay, it's another team right here as well. It's getting dangerous quick. It's a- it's a wizard. Yeah, you send those mana missiles, you're getting a Franciscaners, baby. Trust. Okay, it's a really good thing. It's a really, really good thing we took Iron Will. That did an immense amount of damage anyway. Wait, a rogue, a rogue just got a kill. They're probably in here fighting. Oh, it's rogue versus rogue. Let's go. Let's go. The three rogue wombo combo. We would have been absolutely destroyed with five stacks of poison. Swinging on the corners and pecking them up.
Give me the loot. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. Give me all of the loot and put it in my inventory. The purples. He's got them. Mm. There's so much. I'm not gonna be able to carry it out of the dungeon, chat. There's too much loot and not enough time. Let's go, baby. I might miss half the Franciscis, but we get them when it matters. Oh my god. Oh, there's too much. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's too much, chat. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I think we just leave. I think we, we suck up this here kidder. And we get back to full. There's our blue portal. I think we have time to get crazy with it. How much of a goblin do we feel like being? That ranger had a lot of treasure. Mmm! Plus two true fizzy, that is also really good. Wow, we are we are putting in some real progress here in the three man. The forgotten castle. I gotta take a second to breathe, chat. That was a big one. That was a big one. What, what did we get? What did we get? We got level six. Pretty good. We definitely got paid on that. And we should have been dead a long time ago. Three rogues. I almost want to say thank God. We do weird stuff and we carry monsters around with us when we're transitioning between rooms. Because those mummies just saved our lives. Look how much gold we have. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. I gotta pause the timer, guys. I need to walk it off. That one was massive. My heart rate spiked. And I broke my back. Leaning forward so, so hard right there. Oh my god. Too much loot. 400 gold. What are we going to do? We've already got a lot of really great weaponry. I think we probably have enough health to carry us through. This might be the first time I ever have gold to spare. Normally I'm buying so much healing. Moguls, welcome. Maybe you should stash some of the gold so you can loot more. Yeah, I think we might have to put at least 300 of that in the stash and then buy a couple more bags. I'd love to buy more Franciscis, but I'm pretty sure they're, uh, we're, we're about out of stock here on the Franciscers. That is the life-saving weaponry of the Barbarian. Did you see it, chat? He got healed. And then he ran toward the Cleric. And the next Francisker entered his cheekbone. And he ceased to exist. You got the mountain style throwing weapons. The mountain blade. Loved that game and I loved throwing axes. Translates directly to this game. I used to knock people off their horses by putting an axe in their skull. Axidum. Easy. We got some tea running in the microwave. We're gonna take our first two or three minute break here while I just go for a short walk. I might need to put some deodorant on. It's getting sweaty. Why do you have four Barbarians. I had had 13. But I've been deleting on them. We've got a bunch of Barbarians because we were practicing speed running up to 20. And then after that, we started practicing permadeath and hardcore mode to 20. But a lot of Barbarians didn't make it. The Barbarian hordes up north in the frozen wastelands have been sending Barbarians south to fight the darkness and they're not coming home their children grow hungry and their fields untended 
as the screaming berserkers enter the forgotten castles, inferno, and the goblin caves and never return. I also had quite a few clerics yesterday off stream. I thought I had a really cool idea for a build, especially for speedrunning, where we always go inferno and we go high roller. We were running the small heal and then the holy light big heal to damage undead and sanctuary for the AOE undead banishing. And then I also ran judgment and divine weapon so I was just putting out a lot of undead damage, and so my plan was just a hard farm, and possibly even get to the point where we could solo the Lich. But that character didn't make it as far as I thought they would. That character got ran down by a barbarian screaming, <laughs> and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a barbarian. It reminds me of uh, that that guy on Reddit. I'm always in the subreddit, man. There's so much fun stuff happening in there. But uh, right before the game came out, Spud was releasing a Spud Hunter, excuse me, was releasing a bunch of memes, kind of counting down the days till the playtest. And one of them, he asked what class people were looking forward to. And one of the guys said, I only play the class that killed me last, and I just keep swapping. I feel like that is an interesting idea. You could even kind of take a tally of what class kills you. But if we take a look at the leaderboard, I'm pretty sure Barbarians are on top right now. Barbarians are all the way up. We'll be diving back in here in just a second, guys. I'm going to put the tea bag in and go to the bathroom, and I'll be right back. All right, chat. Level six, and I, I feel like we're pretty geared. And even though we just took down three three mans, I, I sort of feel like I feel like it's just about time to transition to the solo dungeon. We've gotten lucky quite a few times with low health and pressure from third partying. But, I mean, right there, if I walked into that door and I didn't hear the rogues, and you know, especially if your weapon's not out, if you're trying to move quickly and transition between rooms, and you step into three rogues, I think you're dead no matter what. Maybe if you have a Carnage Cannibal Barbarian built, you survive because you keep getting health back each time you kill one. And then you have Berserker on, so the lower your health, the more damage you deal. So maybe you, like, one-shot one and get health back. But I think more often than not, 
if you walk into a room and there's three three stealth rogues, I'm pretty sure you're dead. Raider asks if I'm going to turn the VODs on. I would love to turn my VODs on. I'm not a Twitch partner, so they keep deleting them, and I listen to music on stream, and I've, I've probably... I would have to guess... I'm one of the, the few streamers who hasn't been banned yet from Twitch for rule violations, because I keep getting emails. I remember last time, was, was it last playtest, guys? We watched Asmund Gold's one and a half hour video, and one of Asmund Gold's mods reported me, and they instantly DMCA struck me and emailed me and told me to cease and desist because I wasn't reacting enough. There's the actual legal principle where you have to be changing the original content to make it your own. And it's like a percentage thing. So the reactions that I was doing wasn't enough to change it. It's like, it's gotta be like 30%. So uh, <laughs> I don't know how people get away with all the things that they do, but uh, I got struck down like an enemy of heaven, purified. Thank you for the subs as well, Gree255 and the rest today, keeping me going. So um, I have them enabled, but like when we streamed the other day, the 48 hour stream, I listened to a lot of music. So I think all that just got destroyed. Brutal. Got him. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, you ready to dive back in? Is five minutes enough time for our hands to stop shaking? Our hands are shaking. Here we go. Run it. All right, what do we got? We got to go to the stash. Obviously, put that gold away. Let's see what we got. Three magical power. Uh, three strength, though. Three strength, though. I think that outplays two agility. And then we sell the other two. Um, let's take a look on the restock. Still no Franciscis. Big unfortunate. Yep, out of blue pots. Very quick there. Uh, out of white pots. Take a look at the Sergi and we get some Bandizels. Those are out of stock as well. Okay, so it is what it is. We did pretty great considering. Yeah, it was actually kind of ironic, guys, because uh, Asmund Gold reacted. It was actually crazy. Uh, I'm sure it's still up there, and I don't encourage you to look at it. But a couple years ago, Asmund Gold reacted to one of my videos that was like 15 minutes long, and it got like a million views. And I don't get anything from that. His reaction to my video got a million views, and my video only got like 20,000 views. So I made 85 cents, and he made $3,000 reacting to my video. But uh, it's all good, man. It's content creation. He's a legend, and I forgive him and his mods of their sins. Dead end, brother. You are in big trouble. Goodbye, friend. Bad timing. Bad timing. This is one of my favorite rooms. This is the room that has the, uh, the thing I can lock bait.
I like that if you hit the goblins hard enough, they walk away. If you hit them hard enough, they're like, nah, I'm, I'm alright. I'm all, I'm all good on that one. Okay, it's getting dangerous really fast. This, this is a lot of goblins. An Im immense amount of gobos has arrived. Choo-choo! Choo-choo-choo-choo! <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't start the timer. That is not good. Okay, we just, um... I'm gonna have to mark that down. We have to add like three minutes on the time there. <laughs> Bottom tier streamer. Top tier dungeon delver. I almost am not sure these are worth looting, to be honest. The amount of time it takes me to loot these, I feel like could be better spent killing more of them. Where'd that champion go? We'd, we've already done quite a lot of damage to that champion. Is he downstairs? He's probably downstairs. Top of something. Alright, we're gonna transition back to the room that had the champion in it. So at least the champion is gone, and we could finally have another chance of magic here on the lion's head. I think we should have a decent enough circle here to get this done. We'll see though, that's a lot of dead beetles. Nice. Ah, dang. My heart rate increases just like the smallest amount, like I'm <laughs> gambling when you open those. A little slot machine of possibilities. Okay. Looting is not a waste of time. I take it back, chat. Plus one true fizzy. Okay, I think we rock that. It also gives us a little bit of a speed boost too, since it's a less of a movement speed penalty. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. 
Right, that guy is. He should have. He should have stayed in the shadows where he belongs. <laughs> Biggest threat to us guys is gonna be a ranger. A ranger with a well placed trap. As I just W key to my death. 100%. Here's the wizard as well. Good duck right there. Actually, that just saved him. All right. It did not save him. All right, he's got he's got a portal loaded up, so there's not a lot we're gonna be able to do against that guy. He just took it as well, so he's gone. I would have liked to have gone up there, but we would have had to take zone damage to get up top. Wow, big pickup on the Wizzy. Wow, wow, wow. That that is just about best in slot. Did you guys know the barbarian shouts are magical damage? Did you know that chat? Okay, this is a really terrible spot. This is actually how we die here. The final circle is off map and there's no portals and a very limited room for them to be able to spawn. It could also be above or below us. We would have to transition multiple times here and pray. Oh, wait, wait, that's... Yeah. Um, that definitely seems off map to me. Well, good luck, guys. <laughs> One terrible part of Solo Dungeon. Wait. Wait. Not only one, but two. But man, if there were players alive. Look, okay, now the circle's closing, right? So if we don't come in this room, let's see where the other one went. So if we don't transition, we're kind of just stuck. Oh, okay, that actually would have been fine. That would have been okay there. All right, I'm gonna let the clock run a little bit here, guys, because we forgot to start it. So I'm just going to run the clock for about a minute and a half or two minutes just to play it safe. Devs on the lookout. Yeah, hot fixing and adding an extra blue portal was massive. This is our 13th attempt at the permadeath, but it is looking absolutely juicy. Just going to take the clock down, I think a minute more, and then we'll boost ourselves up to level seven. And this is heading for one of the fastest runs we've had. I feel like it should only take two or three hours, and you could probably be cutting corners by dropping down to Inferno. I almost want to say a really, really good speedrun would do like first run trios, second run high roller. I don't know who could accomplish that though, maybe a rogue? Maybe a rogue that just like picks locks and sort of just loots for their XP? I don't know. Is the Barb the strongest this playtest? Hunter, what's going on? It's the strongest of the Bruiser classes, but Wizard is the strongest still. Um, I don't miss the... You know what? Actually, I don't know, Absolute. That's a good question. The three stack blue portals, I think, could come back. Because now that there's a solo dungeon, we don't really need to balance for solos as much now. Right? They took the three blue portal stacks out to help balance, to give solos and duos a chance. But now, I almost feel like we could have a duo dungeon. All right, that's good enough on that, so we'll run it. Here we go, we're back. We are on our fastest run at the moment. And very, very juicy. We've gotten a lot of good loot by taking a risk and starting in the Forgotten Castle this time. See if we got our Francisca's restocked. We didn't. We only have one Francisca left. That could be the end of us if we cannot get what we need. Although the white bandages are gone as well. Very interesting. Madness. Madness, Madness and, and stupidity. stupidity. Brother. Bro there. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, you guys. It's truly appreciated. Okay, here we go. Is 
Is the purple AoE attack from the Lich bugged? Mm, I haven't heard about that yet. The, what? Which AoE? Are you talking about the um, the aura when you get the purple aura? Purple is stack with team and blue is unstack. If you get a blue aura and you stack with your team, you just killed everybody. Team perma high roller. That would be interesting as well. That is an interesting concept. You would have to rely on your teammates a lot. No, oh, give me that. Yes. Oh, beautiful oil lantern. Perfect timing, guys, considering that we're out of Franciscis, right? Okay, that one's gone. Getting a little bit of love here. That guy must be so low health chat, he has to be. I think we transition across when we fight this. He's got the blue portal in his hand, that could be our chance. No, the speed boost, well played. I get hit by the trap, for sure, yep. Good use of spear as well, we don't want to take that fight. He's, he's gonna win that with the spear. He's gonna get a lot of health back here. And some blue potions off. We gotta get him in a corner, maybe I have to use the one-hander here to get close enough to start attacking. Time. Okay, okay, maybe we get in there. Okay, we hit him. We got this. We got this chat. Yes, let's go, baby. Big. And a lockpick, huge. Uh, all plates. There's our new ring. Plus one all attributes. And some Franciscas. Nice pick up there. That guy was fairly geared for solos. Earlier on one of my other barbs, I picked up a, um... A wizard was totally naked, except for, uh... A plus three all epic... Necklace. I thought that was an amazing drop. Great ring for us. We're getting more and more geared by the moment. This is why I'm saying if you can get the ball rolling... You can do it. It's just very hard at the beginning. It sucks. It's almost demoralizing if you lose three or four in a row. That's why I think uh, I think we chose good by swapping away from Goblin to Castle. It does not take much to screw up in this one. Wait, what was that? Was that plus three all? No, stop attacking me real quick. I gotta look at this.
can't catch a break, guys. This is turning into quite the challenge. Player above us right there as well. Let's see, three, five are dead, I'm six, there's three left, chat. Three left. There's one coming through the door behind us, we have to get back to full health. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, he must have heard the footsteps and thought he could make it. <laughs> he must have thought he made that. He was probably like, no, please. Alright, let me let me loot our way back to that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we missed over here. Purple sellable, that's the second time we had a purple sellable, man. That is a come up. It's like 50 to 100 gold each. This blue portal here is mine. And I shall protect it with my life. The other one's above us. Okay, I've got two on me. That is looking really good for us. I think we're gonna go up. We'll transition really quick, play it a little bit risky. <laughs> Good. You can see we we got two levels in one of our runs, so we were uh, we were ahead of our best run, but now it looks like we're falling a little bit behind. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure I got level eight there. We got quite a few kills. Level nine, we double skipped. We double skipped bigly. I also forgot to pause the timer, but that's all right. A little seconds here or there. We're just establishing a baseline, and we'll get it up on speedrun.com and see what people think about this kind of challenge. You're gonna have to be pretty cracked to never die, chat. You're gonna have to be geared, lucky, and skilled. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Please, please, can there be some Franciscis at the Woodman? There's none. The Alchemist hasn't restocked. And the Surgeon hasn't restocked. We are in trouble. 
We just gotta hope we can keep recycling into other players' gear bags. Three strength, four magical power. Three strength, three magical power. And buff duration bonus. That's gonna be great for our shouts. We are one away from our next skill. Level 10 is going to be quite a bit of skills. What do we do? We got the magical resist. I think we go maybe plus 10 axe damage. That's going to be a lot of dammy. We're starting to get to the point where we can absolutely one shot, even with a non purple weapon. And then we're going to be very, very dangerous. Soon we'll be able to solo the skeletal champion. I mean, you've seen me do it a couple times, it's just, it's a big challenge right now. Yeah. If we can get geared enough, we can actually make good runs at it and good attempts. And that will give us access to a lot more purples. It's alright if we miss Shad, we just scoop him back up. Oh, that one that one uh that one cannot be scooped though. That is lodged inside the wall with such ferocity that a cracked stone like Thor. Uh the circle's gonna pull away big time, so we're just gonna head uh we're gonna head west far into the zone. I can't even see the circle anymore. I know my map's covered, but just uh, trust me, guys. The circle is like as far away as humanly possible right now. got killed by the cave troll. Oh wait, wait, we got combat. We got combat, guys. They're buffing as well. That's a cleric for sure. Oh, we should have had that. We should have had that. Your strength. <laughs> Man, these green boots are almost better than the purples. Uh, plus two strength. We got the purples early, and granted, they didn't roll that well, but it's still way better than nothing. Someone died to Cave Troll. I wonder how many players are just running straight at it and just trying to solo it off the get go.
The issue is that even if I come down here, right, we're not going to be able to loot them. Unless they die directly on the edge of the doorway. Uh, looks pretty ungeared, and it's a rogue. I'm stuck, chat. I'm stuck, chat. He, he landed on top of my head. He Goomba stomped me. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm oh my god, a barb. A trap as well. Holy shit. Oh my god. I don't know how he survived that. Three Franciscis and a two-headed weapon. What a legend. Ooh. You can't make this shit up. Candy. Guys, that might be it. That might be enough. That might be what we needed on the five candy play. I kind of want to get risky and vertically transition back up top and loot that barbarian. I kind of want to get risky, guys. Is it smart or is it stupid? All right, we transition up top. The champion is still alive. I don't know, man. We did a lot of damage to that, but uh, I, was hope I was hoping that would be somewhere else. I'm pretty sure that barb died to the spike trap. The axe trap, rather. Ooh, this is a bad spot for portals, but thank you for one. One right on top of us. What a round. Non-stop action that time. That was crazy. Um, I also had a lockpick, so we could have got the lion's head, but it's just dangerous out here. Everywhere we went, there were players or monsters trying to take us down. I, I almost feel like this is more dangerous than the three-man sometimes. Even now. There is level 10, though. That feels great. That is the record there. We gained 15 minutes, but we also double-tapped up to 11. So we will see how it goes. As we pressure forward, making very, very good progress. Let's see if we have enough candy to make some big plays. Agility, uh, magic, 
Agility 1, 3, max health. No. Okay, we finally got a Woodsman Refresh, guys. So that is going to be a lot of Franciscars, right? That is hundreds of gold worth of Franciscars. Now we are ready for a party. By the white healing pots as well. Okay, we're full of loot. How many do we have? We have 21. That is almost enough for a weapon. And there's a B-Axe. Didn't roll that great. A northern full tunic as well. We don't even have chest armor yet. Jeez. Three physical power. Wow, 70 armor. And 20 magic resist. That would be... If I had three candy guys, I would definitely be buying that. At 100%, I would buy that. Okay, my, my inventory is a little weird right now. I'm pretty sure we can figure this out. Let's see, we do need armor. There's a northern full tunic, it's gray. 45 armor for a lot of movement speed decrease. I'm not sure if that's the play here. I think we would have to have something better than gray to swap that out. A blue Gurjamunjabuju though. On the one Agi and a lot of health. What do we got here? One true fizzy and a bit of a fizzy damage bonus. Hmm. That's a lot of headshot protection, Chad. And one Agi will make us move quicker and swing faster. That might be better than our purple. Kind of a stretch here. 2% health versus 2% damage, basically. It's also got quite a bit of magic resist. I think we're going to rock that. Very, very close decision there, but it's all good. We still have a green weapon as well. Hopefully we got a restock on a blue double. Oh my god. No way. Wow. That is an item. That is an item right there, chat. Wow, that's 62. 66 damage. Save the one-hander in case we have to move quick, but I don't even know if we need the one-hander with this much Franciscars. All right, guys. We got to put on our new perk. I almost started without it. I think the axe spec, plus 10 more damage and i'm pretty sure that adds to franciscars as well we are gonna be an absolute terror of the goblin caves here we go wow this is a great run now merchant sold out of the axes why the goblin over the mini map we are on permadeath gary J Bay says use the goblin that's actually an interesting strat try to gamble I wonder what the odds are. Has anybody calculated or data mined the odds on rolling through the gap of uh, the goblin merchant? So we use the felling axe to farm. Felling axe is our farming weapon. And our close range weapon.
because it takes a lot to grab this stuff off the shelves. Wow, three additional fizzy and agi. I like when you downgrade rarities but upgrade stat rolls. Oh, the felling axe. Oh my god, I'm, I'm bad, chat. How are we even alive? Fell into a dead end, that's really good for us. That was a really good player. I also like that he was trying to parry the Franciscers. And then when I started trying to throw out his legs, he tried to crouch parry the Franciscers. That was a great player. Undergeared as well. That would have been a fight of a century if he had as much gear as we do. For sure that would have been amazing. Good fight anyway though. Well played.
what the what? Oh, oh my god, did the devs make it so if you try to cheese, you just get basketball thrown? Oh my god, he punted us. Oh shoot. I'm hoping we can get geared enough to solo that without cheesing, but I, I don't know how. That is a crazy monster to have a solo dungeon. I'm pretty sure there's two or three in here as well. One weapon damage. I think we actually have pretty good rings. Yeah, we do. We have great rings. Okay, we're, uh, the circle's starting to collapse pretty hard. There's three layers here as well. So we'll just have to sit here and kind of listen. Oh, no. Wow, that's a great bow. Dang, that's a really good survival bow. Oh, nice. Nice, <laughs> we've been rewarded for killing the champion. Running very low on time, too. I think if that was above us, we'd be in trouble, but probably a good chance of to spawn below. There's a lot of space down there. All right, guys, another run complete. I think I need to walk around for just a moment. Take a quick tour. Let's see what we got here. That is level 11. Probably one of the biggest threats besides rangers would be running into players using VoIP, right? If we run into three or, you know, two or three players, it could get dangerous quick. Alright, very, very short break here. We're at an hour and 30, and we're level 11. Over halfway home. And it's only going to get easier. You can feel it from my inventory. We've got enough Francescas to stop an undead army. And we got a bounty on our head. And the reward is my life. I'll be back in just a moment, chat. No one's expecting the throwing axe storm. The Francescas. Popping off. Double Axe does immense damage. That player was also very good at dancing, so I didn't really want to go to melee, right? That's the type of player who plays Mordhau in Chivalry. And we go to hit him with a Double Axe, and he parries and slits our throat with the Longsword. The combo on the poke as well. Longsword is probably next to the Spear and the Halberd, three of the deadliest anti-barbarian weapons. All right, guys, very, very short break. I'll be right back. Sorry, someone said the ad volume is way louder than my microphone volume. Yeah, I keep my uh, I keep my mic volume at about 70 and my desktop audio at about 60-ish. For you guys, should it be higher? I don't, I don't really know how Twitch works, guys. Bottom tier streamer. Top tier world record setting three-time back-to-back-to-back esports champion in December. Saturday and Sunday, guys, we got two esports tournaments coming up. Mine is open to the public on Sunday. Zero to hero. Saturday is cross currents. Trio's kill race, but it's full. 50 teams have already signed up. That one is full. We'll be playing again with our favorite content creators and legends of Dark and Darker. The rank one warrior in the world, Orlanthe, will be our teammate once more. And Slickening, the only player to ever beat me in one versus one. He's going to be our battle mage. Probably going to be rock and fighter, barbarian, battle mage. Splitting into groups of one and pressuring forward to eliminate the enemies and stack our kill count. That's going to be five rounds of kill race.
All right, chat. A little bit longer than a two-minute break, but I was nasty. I got gamer grease coming out my pores right now. Once we get up toward level 15 and higher, right, we've already lost two characters there. I know that this probably looks, I'm not going to say easy, but we're putting in some destruction. We're leveling goblin caves and extinctionating the goblin hordes. But we lost a barbarian this morning at like 3 a.m. That was level 18 with a rogue in my back. And a red death beetle on my face. And yesterday we lost the level. F was it two days ago now? Yes. The 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 time just goes in mysterious ways during the playtest. Anyway, that one was live, right? We lost the level fifteen to the troll that I'd been streaming for forty eight hours, and I was absolutely delirious. I didn't even know what was going on. Nor did I think this would really be possible. But if I can get to level 15 delirious as fuck on a 48 hour stream, then we can get level 20 sober and motivated in the morning because motivation equals money. And I just got an awesome DM in Discord. I got my Discord pulled up right here on my lap on my iPad. And we just got confirmation that the wanted murderer, Apollo, the Devourer of Darkness for the Wizard Council has been slain in High Roller, and proof has been provided. That is 25 United States dollars and 1,250 gold for that player. The bounties are still open, guys. We're giving away 150 United States dollars and 25,000 gold over the course of this playtest. This is no joke. The Wizard Council must be extinguished. They've killed too many innocents. And with that and the tea ready, I think it's time we dive back in, chat. Here we go. Here we go. Next. What were we doing? Okay, we were hanging out. We were taking a look at what we got. We we're seeing if this stuff is restocked yet. It's not. not. Okay, the potions are restocked, though. Huge. We buy it all, chat. Every time. We buy everything. We buy the white band-aids. The blue pots and the red pots, because if we die, we delete our character. So there's no reason to have any extra gold lying around. Ever. too much all right here we go this looks good we're diving back in chat here we go the goblin caves await a little more i appreciate it man you're always in here keeping us honest you never have to wait for the goblin caves guys the goblin caves pops I have never had to wait any more than three or four seconds for this dungeon to autofill with deadly adventurers worldwide.
Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chad. Plus three all. We're stacked. Best in slot. We're stacked. Unstoppable now. Our, our damage is just getting immense. Wow, two Agi, five armor pen. That's almost max roll across the board there. That is a nuts drop. Holy shit, that guy, that is like a 550 gold item. I hear him chat, they're close. They're close, are they in this darkness? This is where the ranger was earlier. We're learning the new little cheeky spots on the map. I, I heard him. Oh, the, okay, we, <laughs> chat, we know where they're at, right? They gotta be through to this door. Where all the goblins are, they gotta be. Oh yeah, I see them. Oh lord, I see them. Dang, nice trap. Yeah, he's got three Franceschis. He's got so, he's got nine Franceschis. Oh my God, we can't even carry them all. Wow. Okay, guys, <laughs> we are on the way up right now. <laughs> Damn, I feel better about this one than I did on my level 18. Because on the 18, I was out of restocks and I had no gold. And so I, when I lost to the rogue, I, I mean, I had no Franciscis, I had no potions. Like, there was just not a lot I could do there. find somebody fighting that troll and they're gonna wish they weren't fighting it oh finally fi <laughs> finally it, it took over an hour for us to get a chess piece but we got one Took an hour and 35 minutes, but we're finally actually kitted. Oh, whoa, careful. Careful. Careful, chat. Careful, we gotta pull off, right? We hit him twice. If he's got Berserker on, that next one probably kills us. Do not underestimate the Barbarian babies. When they get low health, they get dangerous. Jump away and throw the Franciscars. More Franciscars as well. Bigly. Someone's taking the portal. They're out of here. Ooh. 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 Good thing we didn't underestimate him, chat. That was death there. Chat, that was death. If he has Berserker and Axe Specialty, he just taps us in the head and we die from this. That is a lot of damage. It's like 60. No, that's like 70 damage unbuffed. It's not as good as ours, but it's close. That is close. Right, and then he gets 30% attack power from the low health, so 30% of 70. Maybe we survived that, but no, headshot's 1.5x. So if he hits us for like 80 or 90, and then 1.5x of that, what is that? That's Mac. I don't know. Maybe we survived that, actually. We've got a lot of armor and health around. I'm starting to feel pretty juiced. Oh, he took that portal. Dang, I didn't hear it. I was too far. Oh, that's cool. You can see, like, the remnants of the portal stone. I've never seen that before. That's really awesome, actually. Um, we like this room up here. This room's got some loot. Yeah. 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 
personal with these Dobbies. Oh, someone cave troll did cave troll again. I'm telling you, Chad, one of these days we're gonna find people cave trolling. And they're gonna get killed in their bags from Franciscars. So we got three, five, six dead. I'm seven, there's two left. Two left and I've got circle. They gotta be coming in here soon. South. We're gonna take three portions here at the end. Just kind of run it down. I don't see or hear anything though. Maybe the kill feed got pushed down. Chad, I don't I don't hear anything. Are they all dead? They are all dead. Okay, I just uh, I just miscounted there. That's all right. Here we go. Level twelve as well. Big. <laughs> My inventory. We're not gonna be able to carry loot anymore. You know what we have to do? We gotta sell some of these invis bots. Probably need to take some of these bandages off. We'll mostly just keep carrying these uh, these white ones for now. Maybe we gotta restock as well of potions? No. Okay. Someone said gamble. I really like that idea. Especially on our ring, but we are we're pretty juiced that I mean Sure. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Best 75 gold I've ever spent in my entire life. Gambling on permadeath might be the way. Jesus chat. We are about to be monsters inside that goblin cave. That's how they get you, said Nazori. That's how they get you. The first one's free. And after that, it's graze all the way to your grave. Hundreds of gold. That is quite the gamble. And then look at this little bastard right here. Look at him. This is a Raid Shadow Legends developer. That's what they look like. <laughs> yes. We'll give you one five star. Download now. Sons of guns. Here we go, guys. That is going to replace our plus one all. And we are absolutely on the way to level 20. No deaths. Perma. Parma. Okay, all right, we almost, we need four more candies. And we will have a purple weapon. You're all gonna survive this dungeon, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Let's go, Naz, how you doing, man? I was watching your stream and loving it as always. I think, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday. Time's going crazy, but I was just laying in bed watching you and Watched a little bit of Katie, a little bit of Jonah. I just, I gave each of you a little, a little tiny view, a little lurking. Hope you're having a phenomenal playtest, brother. The Inquisition rises and gets stronger every playtest. A 
Okay, we're one-shotting gobbos now. I told you, chat. If you let me snowball, I turn into an avalanche. Someone's got to kill me before I get this strong. That's a great ring. Excuse me, that's a phenomenal necklace if we were allowed to sell. That would be a really, really good necklace. I almost feel like we're just done we're just done looting at this point. Oh no, we only have 40 gold. Okay, we, we actually have to be cautious. Right? We gotta, we gotta be a little bit cautious. Because every time you get hit by a spike, it costs you 8 gold worth of potions. Shot. That was pretty much no cheese. I mean, I used the spike trap, but outplayed to the max. We got a rogue somewhere now as well, so we have to stay at full health and we got to start blue potting. They're coming for the loot. Fighting the troll? He's fighting the troll, chat. This is our moment. This is it. Okay, okay, okay. It's a ranger. All right, guys. Here we go. I do not. Oh, he's dead. You know what? I'm gonna say that that we killed him. All right, he got scared when he saw the three time coming. That was an assist. But that's what I'm saying, Chad. I keep seeing it, man. I think a lot of players are just spawning and they've watched the video on how to kill the troll as a level one naked and they're just going for it. It can drop legendaries. Maybe that's the play. Stats are getting higher. It only takes one space bar to open these now. Better stats, faster looting, actually able to slay mini bosses in single combat. Go to Shamundabu. You ready with these? No. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's XP across the board. Air player as well. I think that's above us, guys. We're going to have to transition up. Yep, that's definitely above us. Let's go ahead and transition. They're fighting those boxes up there. Here we go. Let's play right next to us, too. You can hear those plate boots from a mile away. There's the candy. That's our purple weapon, chat. We are on the way up right now. And he is definitely above us. So we transition. Blue potty and we push. Blue potty in a dream.
That's a great spot. I cannot see up there. Kill yeah. the monsters. Okay. I win again. eating good chat none can survive between me the goblins and the cave trolls we got this place on lock we got it down he tried to extract he tried to take the secret extract and it's not open yet it only opens 75 percent of the way through the map plus one all attributes wow we got five weapon damage on the pants plus one all attributes Ooh, i don't know one strength plus one all i think that is better Little upgrade. Feeling good. Feeling good. I think we play outside the zone here until the secret extract opens, right? We can go kill this mage for a couple extra XP. Actually, I have no torches and no molotovs, so we just gotta we just gotta spam F and hope. It takes a long time for that to open. I don't see anyone else either. That might be lobby. I guess we don't need to take the secret extract. Oh, bad transition there. My bad. Here we go. There was a blue portal up top, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to transition up top, and we've gotta use the speed boost here. It's hard to make <laughs> without speed boosting. Oh, guys. Uh-oh. Oh my god, I didn't like that at all. Good thing that goblin wasn't over here shooting at us. That could have been the end. One mistake is all it takes. Stressful. Double pickup though, all the way up to 14. Here we go, guys. One away from our final perk. And then we will be devastating with the Berserker. When we get low health, we get damned dangerous, baby. Here we go. What do we got? Quite, oh, that was a very large amount of gold that game. Uh, we have no restocks either, so here we go. We are getting low on potions. We have no blue. And we're down to the kind of shitty potions left. Okay, we bought them out. Alchemist making bank from his shop. We pour out gold from Inferno. Still hot. We got it. Let's see. No blue potions.
Check Valentine. A Regal Gambizi with two strength and two weapon damage. Do we spend or do we wait? Do we spend chat or do we wait? That's not a bad roll at all. That's going to be quite a bit of extra HP and dammy. I'd rather have a weapon, especially a felling axe. What are we thinking? Some people are saying not good. We're burning time, but we're hanging out. Matthew says I'd spend. Hmm. I mean, we're six away, guys. We don't really have a lot of time left on refreshes. To be honest, I think they refresh every five escapes. In five escapes, we might have we might be done. We might be level 20, a hardcore full. I think we're going to play it. I think we're going to play that one. Close to home here. One to go, and we are ready for our final perk. But we're not in the home stretch, guys. It might seem that way. I can't, I cannot stress it enough. We've died at 15 and we've died at 18. If I step in the ranger trap there, despite him being low health, I think he uses the triple shot or the quintuffle five arrow shuffle shotgun ability and we go down hard. It is hard to get out of those traps in solo without a cleric on your back. This would be a great room to, to mine. I've really never taken a look at it out in the open, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight visible veins of ore. Eight times four is 24 actual pieces of ore. 24 times 25 gold each is a lot of math. That's like 750 gold worth of loot in that room. Sounds like we got a mage. We haven't seen that many mages in here. Let's take our blue potty. It was a mage and he was fighting the troll and he had to reset. Now he's trapped down there.
right. Welp. At least now, if he wants to take the troll, he's gotta fight the champion as well. We did our best. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! How did he get up here? Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit! Out of nowhere! How did that mage get back here? He got through the champion? And the troll, or was that a different mage? Maybe it was a team of two and they queued together and they just like happened to make it. And they had close spawns, who knows? This game is absolutely wild. Also, we need to fix this, guys. This is a bug. If I loot someone's Franciscis, it shouldn't give me part of the stack and force me to loot twice. That, that needs to, uh... That needs to be fixed. I'm not. I would mark that on a, tam a timestamp if I was smarter and faster and better, for sure. All right, let's see what we got going on here. A couple Franciscis starting to get low on resources. Very, very low on health potions. We have to be cautious now. We're out of restocks. We just bought out all the stores. We gotta play smart. Maybe do a little looting. Get in zone, right? The zone's on our back here. Might be below us, guys. We might have to transition down. There's definitely someone below us. Yep, they're, they're down for sure. 100% here. Oh, yeah. And they're PvPing. Perk 30 picking one up. That's a row, guys. We gotta push. We gotta push. They must be in zone, I would guess. Okay, 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 we're playing bad, we're playing bad, we're throwing. That's a lot of monsters. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we might have should have left, chat. We might have should have left. The portals could spawn above us here. We're in a weird spot. I think we, we make a weird move and we just get back to that room where we knew the portals were.
Where was the rogue? Is he gone? Oh, he was gone. He might have been camping an escape portal and got him when he was trying to use it. Perk 30 picking up She Hid. We're back and we're level 15 on the rise. This is the final stretch. We are going to be the strongest that we will ever be this run. Perk wise. Alchemist picking up a restock just in time. Absolutely just in time here. Now I'm missing the restock on the Franciscis though. Franciscis out of stock. Here is an important decision for us. I feel like Berserker is the play. Carnage would be super cool, especially for mob clearing, but we're already very, very strong. HP increased by 10%. I mean, that would give us quite the boost as well. We'd be at uh, about 170-ish. But I just think if we're in a trade or if our rogue's on us, you know, if they're just putting in work before we can get our weapon up or turn, it might be what we need to one-shot them. So we're probably going to have to rock the Berserker, baby. All right, guys, I'm going to take just the smallest little break here and just lean back and take a breath. We're back to 15. 13 barbarians have been extinctionated in the past 48 hours. And a couple of clerics. Strongest class, solo. Wizard. But can the wizard go the distance in a permadeath mode? Wizard is very susceptible to rogues. I think if a rogue gets on us, we can quick turn. We can one shot. I don't think the wizard has that capacity. I think if the rogue's already on you, you what do you do? Do you load up magic missile and just like pray that you can burst him down? Thanks for all those follows, guys. The last 30 minutes. Damn, that's a lot of follows. Appreciate you all coming out. Three hours into the stream. And hundreds of men have been murdered. Their families are helpless now. Oh my gosh. He took the door on the other side of the troll room and then he transitioned back up to the second layer. That guy was fast. That is a really good player. Thank God that fighter came out of nowhere from the top ropes. Bug was around the 3H 11 minute mark. Thank you, Loot. We're going to get that to the devs, guys. That is a bug for sure. Level 15, time to get cocky and die. Someone's been in my stream before. Someone has watched us in the past. If you guys take a look at my YouTube videos, right, and you look at the V Rising tournaments, you'll never see a dumber player than yours truly, SBS So Bad Strange, the vampire legend. I feel like I was really good at V-Rising and we never could win a tournament. Because when you have a tournament that goes two or three days long, I start to get real arrogant and real cocky real quick. And I take fights I shouldn't. But you know what? It's all a learning experience. And as we've seen in this playtest, the general population's skill and competency is going to skyrocket. These are the strongest players we've ever come across since the internal friends and family test back in August of 22. It's only going to go up. I've seen a lot of people, including Joan of Ale and Jay Griffia, some of the top wizards in the world, saying that wizards got nerfed. Wizards are not nerfed, chat. They're buffed. But the general populace that they're going to find inside of High Roller is stronger and smarter now. People used to run HR 1v3. That is way, way harder now. All right, the people from last playtest, what did they do between December and now? They watched videos, they studied, they learned, they talked strats, and they're trying to get on the leaderboard. 
and they're coming out here with three-man comps. And when they see a solo, they're pushing. That's the W key. The left clicks and you're dead. Whew. I'm actually pacing right now. I'm sweating a little bit. I'm going to have to put some more deodorant on. The gamer grease. I want to finish this, guys. Getting to 18, I was actually probably the cockiest I've ever been in my entire life. I was like, oh, this is easy. Just two more dungeons, right? That's what I thought. I was like, two more goblin dungeons and I'm done. And that rogue stuck the Castillan in my liver full of poison. How often do we go high roller? We go. We go the distance, chat. But we're not grinding the leaderboard because the leaderboards is only for one class. You can't climb leaderboards if you play all six classes because it's not account bound yet. Put it in the official Discord, guys. It needs to be a suggestion. That's highly upvoted and seen. I don't want to play one class for a whole week. I want to play them all. But we go, man. We went on, um, what was it, Monday? We went on the first day of the playtest and we popped off. We went hours without wiping. We got pretty kitted. And we'll be back, because if you guys haven't seen it yet, the devs posted a couple of pictures. I'd love to show you. I'd love to show you. Do we show you, chat? Have you guys seen? Or do we wait to make it a video? Do we keep it a secret? It's on Reddit, actually. Check Reddit, guys. There are named weapons inside of this game now. Your drop chance is 0.01%. Named unique weapons, including one from the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. And these weapons, I tell you right now, Chad, it's best in slot. Absolutely no doubt about it. There's a weapon that when you hit someone, a thunderbolt comes down from the sky and hits them for 20 magical damage. Try surviving that, Chad. Try surviving a unique weapon and then try surviving a unique weapon with magical damage. There's also one that spreads poison, one that spreads fire. You've got named uniques inside the game world. And if you manage to get that weapon, you are a force to be reckoned with. Christ, that's some big dammy. One of them, was it ice? The ice one does like three magical damage every tick for 12 seconds. You better have a cleric on your shoulders. And you're just going to carry them around as they cast an AoE heal because your group is just going to eat all that damage. Brrrat. All right, quick break, chat. I'll be right back. Those are high roller only weapons. Indeed. The uniques have been locked into HR. You got to gamble to get them. You got to risk it for the English biscuit. All right, for real this time. We'll <laughs> be right back, guys.
Someone said nerf, cleric, and barbarian. Agreed. Agreed, there's an imbalance in the game at the moment. Unless they're trying to get it balanced. You know, it, it's hard to decide what the base level of balance is. So you, you don't need to nerf those if you raise the other ones up. But right now, ranger and fighter and rogue, I don't think they can compete with the wizards, the barbarians, and the clerics. They got the toolkits to devastate and destroy. We're diving back in, guys. Five levels to go. We got to make it. We got to make it so I can at least set the record straight and prove that it's possible because they said we couldn't do it. And every time they say it, we do it and we excel and we rise up, brothers, because the Inquisition's got a lot of enemies, got a lot of enemies. And the Wizard Council needs to die. We're dropping back in. It's time for another goblin dungeon. Maybe we got lucky and there was a reset. No. No reset on that one. Here we go. Here we go. Five levels to go and we are about as thick as we can be. We got some plus three alls, a couple of epics, some magical damage, some weapon damage. We're still rocking a green felling axe. Almost primarily is our main weapon. I love that double axe. It's got some really cool animations, including the right click overhand. Almost guaranteed headshot on that one. But a, a lot of players are getting smarter and they're dancing away from it. The two handers are a bit slow. And the pokies. The pokies are big dangerous, right? The howlers of the world, the bar leash, and the spear boys. They come down in force. the loose loot that that bookshelf was stacked that time so <laughs> the ones are just empty you know what actually let's go the other way guys Let's go the other way and we'll, we'll try to get some death skulls. So we can get some Molotov cocktails and oil lanterns going. Just always good to have those. It's just like a free resource and a just It's just nice if you're losing the fight to throw fire behind you. It, it makes them think twice, it really does.
save troll on another kill. I'm telling you, Chad, at, at almost every round lately, at least one player just goes straight for it. You know, I've never taken the time to farm this, but I actually feel like this is a really good spot. With the sheer amount of earns right here. Green Band-Aid, well, Jewels, that's definitely a nice spot to farm. I think this player's below us, but let's, uh, let's check just in case. Yeah, they're below us for sure. Should have pressured that. He actually hit us, so we were slow there. Oh, he was already low. I see. I see. I see. I think the first. Ooh, good shot. I don't even see that guy. Good shot. Let's pull back. Also, got to be wary of a trap. No poison on it, guys. Definitely a ranger there. Oh, I'm not gonna push that. That was a great shot. There's probably traps somewhere there. I got excited when it was a felling axe. I definitely thought it was going to be epic. Um, I think we leave. Um, I don't trust that spot. <clears throat> we killed the, the mini boss, right? So do we have a lock pick? We don't have a lock pick. Wait, let's actually, let's wait a second. So that's, there was the torch that they threw. Anybody else? I think we just leave chat. Not the craziest round. I doubt we'd love it for that. Oh, wow. We did. Okay. We leveled up. Feeling good. All right. Now we're on the way. I'm surprised we leveled. I guess we did a lot of PvE there. We just didn't get a ton of player kills. But we sure are absolute troll killers. I feel like there should be some achievements. And we can set our titles. Troll killer. For you all that are out there doing it. Someone in chat asked if we killed the troll yet. I've not yet killed the troll. But it has killed me many a times. It's on the list. And we're slowly going through it. After we get... The world record permadeath speedrun level 1 to 20 no deaths. We're going to make our full set of cobalt gear from the armor. That's the, the next plot. And that one's coming up quick. A little restock on the alchemist as well. It's going to put us in a nice spot. Wait, let's check if there's Franciscis. There is.
three gold chat, but it would, it would be nice. Nazori was right. I do want to gamble more. Since we got the epic ring, I would love to gamble for a weapon. This definitely reminds me of Diablo. Probably your best things to gamble for are going to be accessories and weapons. All right, we are absolutely... I don't want to get too cocky, so I don't want to say anything I'm going to regret. I'll just say this is going pretty well, and I hope it keeps up. Four levels to go, and the sweat can stop for a while. I am drenched in gamer grease at the moment. My hair is a sloppy mess. My headset is filled with salt. And my beard is a rat's nest. I think if we get this, we take a short break and maybe jump into the nice cold shower, like an ice bath. Life after death, best in slot for a barbarian, Smith, 100%. That is the BIS barb weapon at the moment. Imagine not being able to be killed for two seconds when your health reaches one. That is enough time to absolutely kill someone on a barbarian. Two seconds? And if you're rocking carnage, or the trait that lets you cannibalize someone's health pool, it can only activate once per dungeon, which I think is really cool. But that is still the strongest thing I've ever... It's like unfathomable to me how strong that is. Two seconds of inborn. This game just keeps blowing my mind every single new wipe. Also, the new spells are really cool. Sanctuary is super fun. If you guys haven't played a cleric yet, you should check it out, man. Set yourself up. You got 10 heals, a banisher. You can do a lot with 10 different healing spells. That's why I do recommend a lot of new players just go Cleric. Because it gives you room to breathe. It brings down the cost of adventuring to a manageable level. You guys want to see a cheeky spot? I don't think I've showed it yet on this stream. Right here, this spot right here if you're a ranger. You just cleared the whole room, chat. I didn't make it. I didn't make it, but it's makeable. I, I, I promise you. You get up there on the ranger, and this, this room is yours. Bring a pickaxe and a bow, and you just made a thousand gold. I didn't start the timer. <coughs> oh no. How long has this been going for, chat? Four minutes. We're gonna have to let that run off. Is that oh my god, a purple sellable. Oof, that was worth taking that trap to the head. That's alright guys, we'll we'll let that run off for sure. There's 
probably a way you can just add time to time split, but I mean, I've only really ever speedrun V Rising. And that was mostly like this. I know other people I'm not too worried about it. I just like the idea of it. And I've had a lot of people in the V Rising videos that reached out and said that they, um, oops. That said they appreciated having it and they used it. So, you know, if anybody just thinks it's a cool idea and decides to do it, it's good enough for me. I don't need to be first. There we go. It's definitely, I think, one layer below us. Oh, on the other side. Okay, I see. Um, yeah, we can make this jump for sure. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. We should be in a good spot here. Pretty sure it was this one. Yep. Oh no! No! It's still our kill! Sound is bugged right here. I think it's because of the water. Oh my god. I'm stuck, stuck crouching. He's, he's like on top of me. Yay. Taking him up. We got three, five dead so far. I'm six. There's three left. Maybe we get lucky as well, and this uh, this lion set over here will be unlocked. Ooh, nice Molotov. There we go. That battle axe, though. Jesus, we don't have room to carry that. Two true fizzy, five additional fizzy on a 52. That is money. Oh, no. All right, we're, we're, getting, we're getting dangerous real quick, guys. This is getting stupid. <laughs> Hold on, we're, we're figuring this out. That was juicy. That was a good player to kill with throwing axes. You do not want to push that player in melee. Look for plus three all again. Not going to find it. And the lion's head unlocked, but we took so long. Epic baby, please. what we're gonna do if we if we win this guys if we get to level 20 is this just like a hardcore character and we just see what we can do oh this is a dangerous place for portals to spawn this is a three level this is a three layer guys we could be in very very big trouble now oh thank god thank god that's, this is how we died earlier there was no portal just let me out of here that's another great way you can die. If there's a rogue waiting, right, and you open the portal, and they leave, and there's just none left. I don't think any more spawn after that. That was the final portal. Yep, someone steals your portal, and it's over. And there is level 17. 
and we gotta let some time run off the clock. I think we we uh we forgot to pressure the clock for about three or four minutes there. Heavy said 440. So we're gonna let that run up to probably about 222 guys. So if you need to get up and go, we're on about a three minute break here on the world record speedrun attempt. Of no deaths, level one to twenty. Dopamine overload. Ken Nobby. We've got a wizard in the chat, guys. A bounty target says, come heal me. Inquisition God Squad member. Ken Nobby in the chat. And now that we have a couple minutes to run off the clock, we can actually take a moment to just relax and let's see. Look at Narek on the Barbarian. The two-time killer outlaw champion. Half the playtests. He's been rank one in kills. And he has a vicious lead right now of 100. Compared to last playtest, this is beautiful, guys. You can really see how the patch affects the game by looking at the top 10 and the top 100. Last playtest, six of the top 10 were wizards. Here we've got one, two, three, four barbarians, and three, five, six wizards again. 60% wizards and a ton of barbarians. There's Apollo. We got him on the hit list. Ken Nobby in the chat got him on the hit list, guys. If you kill these players, you get 25 United States dollars and 1,250 gold. Exclamation mark bounty if you want to know more. There's Orlanthe, rank one warrior in the world. Currently rank two, collecting on some treasure. He's got a pretty vicious lead over his competitors, but Sekuki is way above him. That's 10K over the top. That's going to be a hard to outplay. And what's interesting is despite all this treasure collected, there's still only a rank eight on BA. There's probably a lot of math and statistics between PVP kills for VA and treasure for VA and escaping for VA, but just cool charts and graphs. Got a lot more kills on the bosses over last playtest as well. I think at the end of season two, we only had maybe three on GK and a couple on Lich. How are we feeling, chat? Do we think there should be a leaderboard for solo dungeon? Or is it good with high roller? Or can we have a solo high roller? Oh man. Oh devs, make the Gabo, make the Gabo caves HR. I'd pay a hundred gold to go in there for better loot. Whoa, a solo HR? Sign me up. Nine other geared bangers inside the goblin caves? Sheesh. Uh, the timer only runs when we're either actively inside the tavern. Excuse me, um, I don't know what you would call this. The, um, like the town. The timer really only runs when we have control over what we're doing. But if we're inside the tavern, or loading into a map, or we hit a blue portal and we're loading, the timer doesn't run. Do you open? Um, no, no. I pop rage in case a rogue's waiting. I always try to pop rage and fear just to see if someone's in stealth or in case someone's about to hit us. Uh, maybe if a uh, Maybe if there's like a goblin archer or something about to shoot us. I don't know. It's kind of just a habit at this point. Has it been four minutes, guys? I kind of feel like it has. We're chatting and hanging out. We got the ADHD popping off. We should probably sell as well in this time. There's the purple. Bringing back our bank. We were pretty poor before we went in that run. I'm going to hold on to this axe just in case. We'll have to think about what we want to do if we do get no restock here. Um, we can still buy some Franciscis. More than I've ever seen him have before. Okay, we, he sold out. Surgeon restock as well, but we're sort of out of gold. We, we might have bought... We might have bought too many Franciscis that time, guys. But I don't know if we can have enough. I really don't know if we can have enough of the Franciscars. This close to the end, I'm going to be throwing them as often as I possibly can.
gonna let a little bit more time run off the clock, guys, just in case. There's probably a, a spot or two where I, I misclicked or whatever, but uh, we're on the way for sure. What do the color names mean? That's a karma system. Yeah, Gravix got you. Gravix got you on lock. Here we go, guys. Level 17, three to go. Insta-Q as well. Whew. We can do this, chat. With a green weapon, no less. You could see where you could shave off a lot of time from mine. And I think it was significantly faster XP gains when we were in the three-man. But I just want to get one finished. And then we can kind of hone it after that. And I do think that Goblin Caves is the safest way to do that. We killed a vicious amount of trio players in the Forgotten Castle. We were a menace on the map. But you're tripling the chance of dying. Although I wonder, there's probably a lot of math involved here. A lot of uh, subjective therapy that would be required to, to really break it down. We need a round table. But I do think there is something to be said about if, if you're solo and you're in a group. It feels like most of the groups just W key. Because they're cocky as hell in their three stack. And I, I think there's something to be said about probably being able to pick them off that way. So they don't really use strategy, they just charge. And so you can get them in doorways. There's the uh, there's the Francesca bug again. Again, twice twice in a row. We shouldn't have to double double right click. There's candy. Alright guys, we've been, we've been in the goblin caves for two hours, and I've looted about 15 candies. Got a player in front of us. Oh, we don't have blue potions. Two Agi, three weapon damage, physical damage reduction. That's a close one. 1.3 reduction, 2.3. Two Agi, three weppy damage. Ah, uh, that's a close one, chat. I don't know, that is very, very close. I think we'll pick it up and figure that out later. I like the Agi though, we got a mixed move speed. There's our blue potions, big kill for us. Is that below us? Dang, it's like Tarkov. I thought that was right on top of us.
All right. That is a lot of kills for us in this lobby. That might be that might be the most we've ever had. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I think we're gonna level up from this one, guys. I'm feeling good about it. We couldn't even loot everybody. I was so focused on W keying there. All right, we are way outside the zone. I hear a lot of portals and I think they're counting, but we're probably one of the last players alive, I would guess. Oof. Oh, let's, not, uh, let's not be too cocky. Not bad, guys. Not bad. We killed a lot of NPCs that time, a lot of monsters and gabos, and an absolute ton of players. I'm pretty sure that's at least level 18 there. It's not. That's wild. We <laughs> didn't level up from that. Is the XP exponential? I'm not sure how the XP system works in this game, but that, that was a lot. That was definitely one of our best ever gabo caves. Becoming an expert at the transitions, without a doubt. That is a really good pendant. I think we're gonna we're gonna start saving some of this stuff. Hopefully we have a we should have enough, right? Did we um No, there's no restock. Okay, now we have to let's take a second, guys. Let's take a beat here. We might have to leave some of our Franciscis at home. So we can get some more sellables. Franciscis for days, but we still have room to breathe. Super fast break, guys. Just gonna feed my cats really quick. But welcome, friends. The terror of the goblin caves. The high fantasy Batman. We're popping off and dropping Franciscis into skulls. Absolute carnage.
All right, friends. We're on the rainbow road. The goal is in sight, and we haven't fallen off the track in a while. Who's been here since the start? Let it loose. Let me get some emotes. We bought some cool ones off a of Fiverr. From a 17-year-old in Indonesia. You got people all over the world contributing to the growth and development of Dark and Darker in their own little ways. We got the winged rat. It's a free emote if you follow. I appreciate it greatly. And it helps us on the path to glory. We're about to set the record. And then I would love to go back to back and beat it. I'm sure we can beat this, guys. If we just go Forgotten Castle. And we just fight three mans all day. Every day, baby. I'm sure we could do it. But I really want to get some Cobalt Ore. And in order for me to feel safe mining, i got to be in a team. I mean, you could mine in the Goblin Caves, but... Guys, I've been in here for three hours. We haven't killed a single player with ore. It's just too dangerous. Anyone can sneak up on you. The clink, clink, clink is going to drown out your own demise. I do have to take a little tiny break here. I know we said two minutes and it turned into five and it's turning into ten. Because I haven't eaten yet today, chat. And I just cooked up some coconut squash. And a wee bit of sticky rice. So, I got it here in my lap. We're hanging out. We're holding on to the emotes. Man, that's nice. That is nice to be at the microwave. Putting together some rats. Some rats. Putting together some rice. You got rats in the rafters. Putting together some rice and coconut squash. And come back and we got a bunch of emotes in the chat. Thanks, guys. That's going to look really nice in the, in the video as well. That's going to look super, super nice. Nobody actually reacts to the sound of mining. I do. I hear mining. I'm coming for you. Give me the cobalt. I can show you guys while I'm, I'm waiting for this to cool down a little bit, right? I'm going to show you super quick. We've got some lofty goals for the wipe, as always, right? The first one, which we're about to hopefully accomplish here live, is a world first Level 1 to 20, no deaths, permadeath, hardcore run. That's on the way. I feel like we're almost there, chat. And then we're going to make ourselves a set of cobalt full. And we got a lot of ingots. Got a lot of ingots. And we got enough heart candy to go on 8 or 9 Valentine's dates. We'll be selling the heart candy for gold. So we can buy some ingots. And we can craft our set of Cobalt Full. And we'll be rocking it with the Elite Skeleton skin. Because we're out here doing all the things. All the time. It's madness and stupidity. Thank you guys for joining me today. This is day three of the wipe. And we're getting a lot of stuff done. I would love to get my hands on a named weapon. So we might have to get in a high roller group later. And tackle some liches. And teach the Ghost King what our name is. Because our name is Death. You got the ladders in the chat as well. You got rats in the rafters. And jump tech on the ladders. Is it time to hype myself up and listen to my own rap song? Guys, I think it is. I just can't help it. I'm so proud of myself. Share in my pride chat. Share in it. Because they said I couldn't rap. And we made a rap. What can't we do if we throw enough resources, time, and passion at it? Let's go, baby. Yeah. Ooh. They say that God made us in their image. These angels so gorgeous in their ruby silver vintage. Strip it all off, it's an hourglass. God gotta put that sin on my tab, cause that's a lot to ask. And it's a lot to ask for me to resist. Chilling, Chilling with, with the, the ghost, ghost king in the lich. OGs, OGs from, from the, the other side, side of the crypt. Got my side character and my side hoe. You already know 
Hope she the 5-0. Fuck her so good. She protect me for free. Need a couple more shooters all around me. Y'all racking up bodies while I'm stacking paper. Load the triple shot first. Ask questions later. Mm. You know what my name, you know what my name is. So bad straight. So bad straight. Look, big stopper just in case you didn't know the name. Big fire at your head, call it yoga flame. Yeah, I don't think they know this pain like it's Novocaine. Still fighting for the green like we know the dame. Doubling money like I'm Irish, boy, you know the game. Six shots, open range, watch me go insane. Yeah, I'm the coldest. At the other clip, okay, I'm reloaded. You know what my name, you know what my name is. So bad straight. So I'm everything they say I am And everything they ain't Elevate myself to a saint It's a new wife and a new me Day one high roller just so I can see What the competition looking like it's gonna be You got rats in the rafters Jump tech on the ladders I got orders from God Three clerics, it's time to mob Inquisitional squad The doctor of divinity came down to save us all. Save us all. Save our souls, chat. We got three levels to go. And we're elevating ourselves back to the kingdom of heaven. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Three levels in a dream. We've got the Franciscis. Did we get a restock while we were singing? We got a restock. Thank Christ, we have no cash. We got no cash money. What do we do, chat? We ain't got no cash money. We sell the items that we didn't want to sell. Send it. We got three levels to go. Sell the goods. 27 gold. Oh my God, these would be worth like 600 on the auction house. It doesn't matter, they're gone. We need the blue potties. Blue potties save lives. No doubt. We just traded some of the best in slots in the game. <laughs> three, three blue potions. You know them by name. It's so bad strange. Let's go, baby. Throw Franceschi's until the end of time. That's our weapon of choice. Pretty sure it's gotten the most kills for us these last three hours over any other weapon. Here we go. We're back. Perfect room as well. Because each of these skulls is carrying a chance for three more Franceschi's. And they can be rare Franceschi's. It's a wizard. I missed everything. It's going to get dangerous quick. But mostly for the wizard. Can't stop him. Won't stop him. I hope that wasn't that player's first game. Jesus. Come out of the spawn box and you got the most dangerous barbarian from the northern hordes at your doorstep. Jesus, Chad. I hope that wasn't a brand new player. They just, del they just deleted the game. They downloaded it. They said their friends said it's fun. Come on in. They thought, maybe I'll play a wizard. And now they've deleted the game, and they're never playing again. They left a negative review on Steam. Here we go. Where are they at? Oh, that's a good judgment. We got out of range, though. That's a 30-second cooldown, chat. We got to push it. We got to push on it. Got him in the head. Got him in the head. Got him. Got him, and we got something else over here. Great hit. Another wizard. Get the Franciscis in my hand. Got 
got him. Oh. Oh. Four, five, six, seven players are dead. I'm eight. There's only one alive. In the first three minutes of the match, the whole entire lobby has been devastated. Let's go. We're locking this one down. Now would be the time. What's going on here? What is going on here? We got a bug. Each time I pull the potion out, it bandages me. That was weird. Give me the loot. Because we need it. We're fresh broke. I gotta say, chat, we got really good gear for the solo dungeon. But, if they kill us, they get it all. We are an absolute pinata at the moment. Must be worth at least 2,000 gold. That judgment wouldn't have felt good. But we've got the 100 magic resist. And I just realized that the magic resist helps you against clerics as well. Isn't judgment magic damage? We might have chosen... Maybe this is the best class in the game. I, don't, I might have to think about that one. Now would be the time for mine as well, the cave troll picking one up. Someone's trying to boss off the get-go. All these players watching how to do it, it looks easy on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's not easy to fight that troll. You gotta play perfect, chat. If you screw up once, you are dead. Look at, again, every single game so far where people have died to the cave troll, take a look at the, the kill feed, guys. It's another headshot for the cave troll. He's a headshot magnet. That club's so big, it can't help but get the head. Maybe that's what we do, chat. Maybe we hit level 20 and we fight the cape troll. We celebrate in style, we pick up our first kill. We would need a Bardiche, I would think. We would need a Bardiche for the range damage. We also got a pick lock. <laughs> Bad hit. I think we have time. We definitely got time for that lion's head as well. That is the first one we failed today though, and that feels good. It's definitely a lot slower than it used to be. They, you actually have a chance now. Chad, I think this last player is above us. Do we transition? I think we'd have to go outside the zone though to transition, so. It's probably not worth the health, just because I don't actually have any red potions at the moment. <laughs> So we need to, we need to play a, with a little bit of risk aversion and make some comfortable plays. So we know there's one alive, and we know they're probably above us. And we also know that there's definitely enough portals for everyone to survive. Since all the players are dead already. Been dead. But we also know that the last player alive probably has a lot of loot. Because they've been farming for six minutes. This might be a good spot for us to transition inside the zone. Is it? I think it is. This one past these? Yeah, 
they're they're here for sure. Let's pop a blue potty. We're about to be in combat. Wiping lobbies. That's a ranger. Oh, that would have been a headshot for sure. Let's just clear all this stuff. Oh, we put a trap down. Okay. okay. We know there's a trap chat. We know it. Opens the door to put shots on. Guarded by his own trap. I love it. We gotta play safe. We don't have any red pots. If I was him, I would put every single trap I have down. Every trap in the game. Let's throw a, uh, a Molotov in the back. Follow that up with a lantern. Maybe we can force him onto us here. Definitely got in there with the fire a bit. I can't see. I can't see. Something's in my eye. It's an arrow. Oh my god, that's a lot of goblins, chat. Whew. That is a lot of gobos. A small army has arrived. We gotta fight him. We have to fight him. We can't let him stack. Okay. Breathe. And lean back in your gaming chair, you sweaty, disgusting slob. Oof. Oh my god, I didn't blink for two minutes straight. Okay, we gotta be careful here. We still don't want to sit in that trap. Where are my bandages? Okay, okay, reset here. You know what? You know what, chat? I am over this dungeon. But that was a great fight from the ranger. Excellent plays all the way across the board. Unfortunately, we did not get that kill. The dark swarm picked him up. He must have been very one-shotty. The fire and the Franciscis putting in work, leveraging some damage. Two to go. Two to go. Breathe. Breathe it in. Here we go. I'm not, but guys, anyone that's joined us from chat that we're killing, if it looks like I'm teabagging you, it's not. Um, I play battle royales for a living. We did esports back in Fortnite and Naraka Blade Point. We played PUBG. And when you're looting a corpse, you should never be static. In this game, you cannot move while looting like most BRs, but we can crouch. So we cannot let our head be visible to a ranger. If someone's in here with a purple longbow and they put one in my eye while I'm looting, that could be the end of us. So we got to crouch. So sorry, I'm not, I'm not teabagging. I'm sure it does look that way sometimes. But no matter what we're doing, if we're standing still and interacting, we are almost always crouching. Bobbing and weaving, baby. It's almost a habit by now.
Cave troll killing kite. First player to die. Making a cave troll attempt. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. The, the landing on the head thing makes me really nervous. So what is that? Okay, we got a player on us for sure. 100% guys, there it is. We weren't crouching that time either. But that's our purple bardiche. We gotta make space for that. That is our troll fighting weapon. And a beautiful epic. Smarter player probably stops looting. Where are they at, chat? That's above us for sure, two transitions. I'm not sure we can get up there. We can definitely get up there, guys. We'd have to go around, take a bit of damage. Nope, I can't believe that. If we did that earlier, they have to fix that. Those are some fake two by fours if I've ever seen them. Mm, okay, it's not worth it now. We'll get him next time. Get him next time, chat. We got three, five players dead. I'm six. We got three left. I don't know the map good enough. Despite living in this dungeon, I don't know how else to transition to that layer from here. It's not this way, and that puts us back where we started, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, that's where we started. Hmm. <laughs> I think that player gets a pass. Yeah. 
Wait, is it this way? It is this way. Okay. We're back. Right, let's fight let's fight some of this guys. This is too much. This is too much even for me. It's too risky. No, guys, it's dark there. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure he puts traps there, right, guys? I don't know if we push that this late into our section. Got him. Chunky boy. Great fight. Great fight, man. Let's see what he had. That was only a white. That was a white bow, and that was putting in Dammy on the triple. Good fight. Dang, I didn't even get to see that Bardisha's stats. That was a very dangerous loot for us. Level 19, we're on the way. Getting dangerous at the end too, I love it. I told you guys, it's never free. It is never free. We died at 18, we could have died there. Let's take a look. Movement speed and true fizzy, good rolls. Great rolls. Hopefully the merchants restocked and they did. Huge. Our last map. We're going to be pretty looted. We've got enough Franciscis to finish this. Let it loose, chat. Here we go. Looking like it's going to be about a three hour run. We made it to 18 and two hours 11. So this is for sure beatable. But you got to risk it to beat it. Texas, I died at level 18, and I've died at 15. Those are my two highest so far after this. This is now my highest at 19, and it's not over. It only takes once. That's it, chat. One screw up and you're dead. You get hit by a goblin, you get some poison, and this guy over here who's an archer shoots you, and it's over.
Franciski's everywhere. I see them shining in the walls and in the ground. Some of them thrown so hard, I'll never retrieve them. Five additional physical damage. He had the pants and the weapon to bring us down a notch. That was a player killer. The other one was above us, guys. We got a double transition to the top here. And then I don't know where he went from here. Maybe this way? Dead corpse? Wait, that's where we came from. Yeah, then we dropped down. I heard pots breaking. Maybe yonder? Into the abyss. Danger awaits. This could be our last run, fam. We're up three kills. And we killed a lot of gobos in that first room.
Chat, let it loose. I think we just leveled up. I think this is the one. The final one. The one to rule them all. Final circle. I, I feel like that was lobby. Again, I wasn't counting, but uh, I definitely think we did a really good job there. There's probably a little bit more XP to be had at the top of this as well. As we transition up and across. Oh, someone beat us to this. That spot actually usually doesn't get looted, but there is a lot of beautiful loot to be had up there. I almost want to drop some Franciscis to make room for more loot. Everything is dead. The map's been cleared. This is actually a really good run. Might be one more player left somewhere. But if there is, I don't hear him. I hope that's it, chat. I really do. Three hours and two minutes. Is it enough? The dark grows darker. We made it. That's it, chat. Let it loose. Give me the loot. World first. Oops, I'm accidentally pushing enter. Hold on. Hold. Save splits. This run did not beat your current splits. Would you like to save this run? No, I would not. How do I save the other split? I don't know how to be a real streamer. I don't know what this is. It doesn't matter. We made it, guys. You see it. 259.37. Previous segment. I think it's saved. Now what? I just close it? I think I just close it. And I got to pull up chat. Drop some emotes, fam. We did it. We set the boundaries of what is possible. Level 1 to 20. No deaths. Solo only. No trade guild. Nothing but the loot on our back, the Franceschi's in our hand, and a dream. Who's been here since the start? Let me know. We fucking did it. Five hours into the stream, and we covered what I would consider to be one of the hardest challenges ever invented for Dark and Darker. Let's go, baby. What other class can do it? Let me know in the comments section. Like and subscribe. We're on the way up. <laughs> what a wild ride. We almost lost it a couple of times. And I'm just thankful. Because when we died at 15, I thought, you know what? That was pretty good. But it was, it was fine. And when we died at 18, I thought, wow, my ego hurts. That one felt like a waste of three hours to me. But this one, <laughs> now that we did it, we locked it down. And I am absolutely positive, guys, that if we go to the Forgotten Castle only instead of solos, we'll get there a lot quicker. Didn't we get to level 10 or something in the first hour at Forgotten Castle? When you're devastating three mans, your experience bar multiplies exponentially. I think you could throw an Inferno run in there as well. And really put in some work. If you guys are looking to shave time off, maybe fight Cave Troll. Maybe do High Roller. Maybe do Inferno inside a High Roller and solo the Lich. Who knows? Anything is possible, but we locked it down. So thank you all for tuning in and watching. You know my name, you know my name. So bad So bad Look, bitch, stop it just in case you didn't know the name. Big fire at your head, call it yoga flame. Yeah, I don't think they know this pain like it's Novocaine. Still fighting for the green like we know the dame. Doubling money like I'm Irish, boy, you know the game. Shit, shots, open range, watch me go insane. Yeah, I'm the coldest. At the other clip, okay, I'm reloaded. You know my name, you know my name. So bad.
Everything they say I am and everything they ain't Elevate myself to a saint It's a new wife and a new me Day one high roller just so I can see What the competition looking like it's gonna be You got rats in the rafters Jump tech on the ladders I got orders from God Three clerics, it's time to mob Inquisitional squad The doctor of divinity came down to save us all. Save us all.